Also new this morning, the track was broken. That's the latest from the report on an investigation to a train derailment that, two, that killed two young women in 2012. ABC 2 News, Roosevelt Life, which is live at that scene in Ellicott City to explain more on the information from that report. This preliminary report points to a section of track just before the bridge that may have caused the derailment that killed two teens. Now, this happened back in August of 2012, right here in the heart of downtown Ellicott City. It took the lives of two 19-year-old friends, Elizabeth Nass and Rose Mayer, who authorities say were on the track through the town when the derailment occurred. Both died after they were buried under tons of coal. The report says that there was a small break in the rail several hundred feet before the Main Street Bridge, and investigators say that was the point of derailment. The report says the track itself had been reconditioned in May of 2012 and had just been inspected a day before the derailment by CSX inspectors who found that the track, the bed, the rail, and all the other parts had no defects and had met federal standards. The preliminary report also photographs photographs that are online that we are showing you that came from online of how the wheels and other parts of the rail cars split or were twisted as they were going around the curve into town when one of the heavily loaded cars left the track touching off a chain reaction. Now at this point, once again, the report is just preliminary. The final report is expected to come out in the next few weeks with the final conclusions. Roosevelt Leftwich, ABC2 News.